being seen as the voice of the people is a huge responsibility. We never feel it's too big. We feel it's a privilege. However, it's a privilege that comes with a lot of responsibility because firstly, you have to be authentic in how you represent the people. But at the same time, you also have to be impartial. So on the one hand, we are the voice of the people. On the other hand, to be the conscience of government, we can't afford to be seen to be against government. So at every given stage, we represent what the people are saying. We still have to evaluate it so that the outcomes we reach are fair, both to the people and to those who work for government. It's true. We have faced serious challenges over the years and in the past year the, the challenges have been more enormous. What keeps me going is very, it's many things. The first thing is the privilege of doing this work. I, I think everyone who works here would say that they enjoy seeing change, making a difference. We are among the few people in society who have jobs and we are among the even fewer who have jobs that really uh, make a difference immediately. Everyone's job makes a difference, even if you make donuts, they make a difference because they give joy to somebody. But sometimes you don't get to see the person eating the donut. In our case, we can see the difference we make. For example, if somebody's pension is owed by government or somebody was injured by government and they've been refusing to pay, we're able to make sure that we take the matter to the conclusion and some of the times we are lucky to see their face when the final decision is made and, and that smile. Mm -hmm. And that really makes you feel you add value and, and, and thank God for, for, for being alive and, and being given this privilege to, uh, to work. So that's one of the reasons I, uh, I and my team, the entire team, uh, are motivated by our work, that sense of privilege. We also are motivated by the deep sense of appreciation from the people, particularly the people of South Africa, but increasingly the international community as well. We feel that sometimes we've gotten more than our fair share of criticism, but also we've received far more than our fair share of appreciation, and, and, and we're grateful for that appreciation. We don't work to be appreciated, we work to do the right thing, but when that appreciation does come, it does make us smile.